Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video with Dos Bros Travel Adventures. And we know that a lot of you guys are wondering where to stay when you come to San Jose, Costa Rica, since this is the first stop that you will be making. So if you have an upcoming trip to Costa Rica and wondering where to stay, this is the video for you, so stay tuned. And we'll give you the Dos Bros top two options. San Jose is a small but beautiful city. And like every city in the world, it has its bad parts and its good parts, so you gotta be careful. And as we pass in the National Football Stadium in Costa Rica, you can see that the city is pretty nice in this side of the area and uh, very clean, there's parks with families around, and the city is pretty modern. But since the city is pretty small, watch out because if you take the wrong turn, you can end up on the bad side of the town. And speaking of the bad side of the town, don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss the video where we'll tell you how we almost got mugged in our Airbnb in San Jose. We truly made a rookie traveler's mistake. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that scary story to help you avoid making that mistake. That's why we're gonna tell you our two top choices to stay when you come to the city and tell you why we don't recommend staying at the Airbnb when you come first time to San Jose. To avoid making that mistake, stay to the end and we'll tell you all the story. That was pretty scary, guys. Not the first thing you wanna do when you come to Costa Rica. And besides giving you our two best options on where to stay in San Jose when you arrive, stay tuned because we'll give you some tips and things you might need to bring on this trip. That's what our channel is all about. We have travel videos to help you have the best time on your next vacation. And our first choice was the Country Inn Suites by Radisson. The reason this is our first choice is because this is more like a type of resort kind of hotel. It's still very affordable. And if you'd like to book, you can also do it at booking.com. The hotel has free Wi-Fi, a fitness center, a gift shop, meeting rooms to host events, receptions, weddings, and more. And of course, what a lot of people ask for, it has two luxurious pools. Check it out. We did arrive here later at 9, like around 9. So for a while, we talked to someone in the pool. It says that in the mornings, it's a fun time here. And right now, all you can see is just people relaxing from a long day in Costa Rica. And here's another tip, guys. When you go to Costa Rica, you want to find hotels that have free cancellation because you never know. And another thing that you should look at is hotels that have free breakfast. When you book a hotel, check for this option. It might save you some cash. Especially if you're a family of four or five, that would save you a ton. And now guys, let's go check out the room. Let's go upstairs. But first, let me tell you another reason why this hotel is great. If you're either coming to Costa Rica or leaving like we are right now, uh, the hotel is only five minutes away from where you get the rental cars and about an eight to 10 minute drive to the airport. And as soon as you enter the room, you can see that it's pretty cool. I like the colors of the decoration and the bed was pretty comfortable. The room has a nice TV with a cable and a nice fridge. And a coffee maker with some delicious Costa Rican coffee. And while we're preparing this cup of coffee, here's a question for you guys. Let us know if you've been to Costa Rica and what was your top choices for hotels to stay at. Here in San Jose, when you arrive or in departure. And if you prefer hotels over Airbnbs, especially if you know an Airbnb that's in a safe area. The rooms at the Country Inn are pretty big, and in these rooms you'll find big closets with a lot of storage. Like this first one, we had enough space here for any luggage and any bulky stuff that you might bring. When it comes to storage, you have no problem in these hotel rooms. Another cool thing about this hotel is that each room has its own bathroom. They are very clean and they have everything that you need when you stay here. And guys, for more information on why this was our top choice, it's because the hotel has a shuttle that will take you from the airport or to the airport, which makes it very convenient if you didn't have a car or you took your car rental back already. And in the first room, you will find a large closet with an ironing board and an iron. Just for your convenience. Now let's go check out the other room. The second room was just as nice as the first one and it comes with almost everything that the other one has. It's on TV, AC conditioning, and other big closets you can put your stuff or clothing. Because one thing about this hotel is you have a lot of storage. And right next to the room, you have another bathroom that is also very nice and clean and spacious. After that long drive, taking a shower here was the best. And another tip that we'll give you on your trip to Costa Rica is to buy a poncho from Amazon. They are made out of plastic and cheap, but you may need them in Costa Rica because all of a sudden it rains. So it will be helpful to buy some of those. We'll leave the link in the description. And this room also has a large closet, but this one has a safety box inside. And a really cool thing about this hotel room is that you have your own space just in case you had to do some work, study, or anything like that. And this was our second choice. We were supposed to stay here at our arrival, but we ended up with the Airbnb, which happened to be a bad decision. This place is five minutes away from the airport and has 24-hour shuttles, which makes it very convenient when you arrive late at night like we did. The place has pools and is very well recommended by the locals. 
It has free parking, and the good thing about it is that the rental car is right next to it, which can save you a day of rental when you stay at this hotel. Which can be a great money saver because car rentals here in Costa Rica can be really expensive. And from here during the morning, they also have local shuttles that take you to gastronomical locations in Alajuela, and Wi-Fi is included. And the rooms look really nice. It was a shame that we changed it to an Airbnb. This place is very convenient, and it would have saved us a lot of trouble. And besides the local shuttles that they have free to the city, they also have free breakfast. The main reason why we think this hotel is great is because you literally can drop off your car at the rental car and have a 24-hour shuttle take you to the airport which is a big savings on transportation, especially if you have a big family. The Holiday Inn Express has a fitness center and check-in is at 2 p.m. And with the experience that we had on this trip and all the pros and cons, to us, these are the two best hotels to stay at when you arrive at the Costa Rica airport. It's just really convenient for all these reasons that we have mentioned. We had such a great time in Costa Rica, but before we leave, we're going to tell you all about why we think that you shouldn't rent an Airbnb on your first time to Costa Rica. And also, if you missed our last video while we're telling you the story, we're going to show you some images of our previous video. Make sure to watch that video after. It's just a nice trip to Isla Tortuga. So here we go, guys. This is the reason that we don't think that you should get an Airbnb on your first time to Costa Rica. Uh, this was our first time, so we arrived like around 12, 1230 a.m. in the morning. And by the time we got to the airport, got our rental car, it was like around 2 a.m. And our plans were that uh, we're gonna stay a few hours in an Airbnb near San Jose, sleep over a little bit, and then head our way to Manuel Antonio. So we booked this Airbnb that looked really nice in the pictures. Uh, it had uh, good reviews, etc., etc. And when we were ready to leave the airport, we uh, contacted the owner, which, uh, you know, he was pretty good. He told us he answered us at that time of the night. And uh, he told us that there was going to be a guard that had the key to uh, the Airbnb and uh, just to go talk to him. The Airbnb was about a 15 minute drive from the airport. So it wasn't that far away, which we thought it was really nice. And we got there and uh, it was kind of dark. So we see this booth where there's uh, this guy and we asked him for the key. He gave us the key, go show us the Airbnb. And wow, to our surprise, the Airbnb didn't look anything like the pictures. It all truly looks kind of sketchy inside. So at the end of the day, you know, we were like, okay, let's just sleep a few hours and let's go wake up really early and head our way to Manuel Antonio. And then proceed to put our cars in the parking lot, which had a small, you know, kind of carport where we, had to, we could fit two cars. So we barely fit the two cars there and we were having a little trouble closing the gate. And here's where everything went wrong. While we were trying to close the gate, two other guys approached us, uh, claiming that they were also security guards from the kind of neighborhood there. Which I have to say, they didn't look that bad. The neighborhood was pretty nice. It almost looked pretty safe, considering it was almost 2.30 a.m. in the morning. The security guard seemed to know them, or uh, knows at least who knows who they are. And um, so they approached us, and they started asking us, uh, you know, that they were the security guards, that if they can borrow our phones to call their wives, to bring them some food. And, you know, at 2 a.m. in the morning, right? So we were like kind of suspicious already. I was like, yeah, we don't have a signal. Or we, you know, we can't give you our phones. And they kept insisting on just, uh, you know, that they needed to get some food and that their wife was respecting a call and that uh, they needed a phone to call. So my brother-in-law at the end, you know, just kind of was holding to the gate, trying to close it uh, and told them, no, 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 we don't, we don't have a phone. Uh, you know, we have no signal. We just, you know, we just arrived. Like there's, there's no Costa Rica signal right now. So we don't have phones. So finally, I can help them, you know, close the gate, put the lock on it. And still from the outside of the fence at the gate, now they were asking us for money. They were like, oh, okay, so if you don't have a phone, can we borrow uh, 3,000 colones? So we also told them, no, bro, you know, we just got arrived. Uh, we don't have any colones or anything. Uh, we're just, you know, trying to get ready for tomorrow. And, uh, you know, this was very sketchy, guys. So at the end of the day, we put the kids in, the family inside the house, closed the doors. And we went inside the Airbnb. Like I say, it didn't look that nice like in the picture. So, you know, there was some like back patio, really dark on the back. The windows looked like they weren't very safe to close, you know, like kind of like just open. And uh, so we were like, oh man, you know, we were kind of just, we just got here. These guys know that we're here now. So we didn't feel pretty safe. So at the end of the day, we decided that we didn't feel pretty safe there. Because the kids were already scary. They didn't want to go to sleep. Uh, you know, the girls, they wanted to leave. So, man, I were like, oh, man. So, you know, how do we get out? And uh, my brother-in-law was just looking outside. It was kind of dark. 
seemed like they you know kind of walked away so we just grabbed the cars opened the door really quick gave the key back to the guy that was there for the airbnb and we just decided to go on a night ride to manuel antonio which we didn't know it was about you know how safe it was either but it turned pretty well the road was pretty fine we did it and we made it to manuel antonio but this is one of the reasons we think that you know you shouldn't get an airbnb uh, on your first time to costa rica because you, you don't know the area very much you don't know which neighborhoods are safe they might look good in the pictures they might have some you know fake reviews or something so if you can avoid getting an airbnb we probably just recommend you know hitting one of the hotels that we told you i mean unless you already know somebody that have been there and you know you got recommended you know it might work that way and if you have any more great tips on uh you know how to get airbnbs or you know how to get an airbnb that is safe let us know in the comments also let us know if you had a bad experience also in airbnb and uh you know just to tell people what to avoid what to look for etc etc because in our experience i know we were probably you know have taken or given our phones or given some cash or you know take out our wallet we probably would have been robbed let us know your story if you had one and you know help everybody you know that's watching this video prevent this kind of things when they go on their vacation to costa rica and like i said before let not this you know prevent you from having your fun vacation in costa rica this happens in every city in the world you just gotta know where to go and where not to go and before you leave check out this video on isla tortuga it's one of the must do's when you come to costa rica all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this video Just bros we out bye bye brothers see you next video